In this video, we're going to learn about something called an array. An array is a type of variable that allows you to hold multiple pieces of information. As you may recall from our previous videos, we used variables to store information so that we could use this information later on and multiple times in our scripts. Arrays work like variables except that you can hold or store many different things inside one single array. Arrays are very useful and as such they're used throughout the PHP language and they're one of these things that you really have to understand and master. The great thing about learning about PHP arrays is that just about every other modern programming language comes built with arrays as well. That's because they're so important and they're so useful. So when you learn PHP arrays, you're going to learn how to use arrays in many different languages. So again, once again, you're going to be killing many birds with one stone. To help clarify things for you, I've put together this little graphic that we see here, illustrating the difference between an array, this is the array, and a standard variable. As we can see here with the standard variable, it holds one piece of information. The array, on the other hand, as you can see here, holds multiple pieces of information. You can look at an array as being a box or a container that has many slots. For instance, like a, a carton of eggs. So in a sense, arrays are like mini databases that use something called keys to track the information that they're storing in the database. A key is sort of like a page number in a book where you can use the page number to find a particular piece of information. So in this case, you'd have, this would be one page, it would be a second page, it would be the next page, and so on. Each of these boxes represents a slot in the array. By the way, arrays can have literally an unlimited number of these spots, uh, or slots if you will, the limit is really dependent on how much memory you have on the particular server. There are two types of arrays in PHP, the indexed array and the associative array. We're going to actually go into examples of each and once you see the examples it's going to be very clear I believe. So if it's unclear for now don't worry about it. It's going to clear up very soon. Let's start with the indexed array. If you notice here, I put a PHP comment, which is the double slash, and I put the, uh, I just put indexed array. So I'm leaving myself a note or a comment. So first thing I did was create a variable called my array, and I use the assignment operator. So I'm assigning this variable my array, and I'm assigning it the array, or let me, let me rephrase that. I'm assigning it an array. You see the word array? This is what you would call a keyword or, or a reserved word in PHP. This is a special word that when PHP comes across, it knows that we're creating array here, an array. We start with the keyword array, open bracket. You see you got the double quotes, Steph, comma, Bobby, comma, Jimmy, comma, and the number seven. Then I close off with another bracket and of course our semicolon. We can see by this that we create an array by adding items. Each of these things are items. And you separate the items with the comma here. You can have strings in here. You can have numbers. What you should take from this is A, is how to build an array. And B, that you know that you can put different types of information in an array. By the way, in PHP and in just about every other programming language, you would refer to these different types of information as being data types. That's an, another subject we'll cover in another video. But in programming, there's this distinction of classifying the type of data that you're working with. This is string data, and we've looked at that in our first, one of our first videos. And this is actually number data. You would actually refer to this as an integer. I'm going off on a tangent here. Let's get back to arrays. So we've created our array using the special array keyword and we've assigned this array using the assignment operator to the variable my array. Now this type of array here is called an indexed array because it uses the position of the data that you add to the array as its key if you want to access it. 
let me back up and explain this to you in a different way. The index position refers to the order in which you added the item to the array. So Steph would have an index position, it would be the first item that you add to the array, so you would say it would have an index position of one. And this would be the second item that you added to the, to the array, so it's the index position of two, and so on. You would use this index position to access whatever information you have in that index. So you, you can think of an index position as a seat number in a row of seats, if you will. So this would be seat number two or index two. To confuse us a little bit, I'm gonna tell you something about index positions. In PHP, index positions always start with zero, not one. So this is position zero, this is position one, this is position two, and this is position three. So remember that, it doesn't start with one, it starts with zero. So here is how you would access a value in an array. So I'm referring to our variable. I'm saying my array grab the variable value at position two. So you'd figure at first thought it would be Bobby, but in reality it's Jimmy because zero, one, two. Let's look at the syntax here a little bit closer. To access array elements in an index array, you put the index position of the item that you want to access from the array in between the square brackets. So let's look at how this will look like in our screen. We're using the print command as we've seen before. So let's take a look how this renders in the browser. So as you can see, it prints out the value of Jimmy. So we go back, my array index position of two is Jimmy, even though it's a third element. It's a third element because it's zero, one, two. Let's access array element with an index of zero. So I'll save that, let's refresh the page, and we get Steph, right? Zero is Steph. I'm using the term index position but reality is what programmers would call these are the keys, right? This would be the first key, this would be the third key, this would be the second key. Remember, we're always doing it, we're always starting our count from zero. So to end our little discussion on indexed arrays, I just want to look at this print statement here. In English, which if we translate this print statement, we're saying print whatever variable whatever value, excuse me, we have stored in the third position of our array 